Hey entrepreneur, this is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. Welcome to this special presentation entitled Why Potentially Profitable Email Marketing, ladies and gentlemen, it still flat out makes sense. Especially if your website doesn't currently rank high in the search engines. Entrepreneur, this video is going to demonstrate to you that the enormous long-term profit potential you have available to you through strategic email marketing. Now for this particular example, we're going to say that you own a nice mom and pop, non-franchise, local, semi-upscale restaurant. And if you're wondering, well, how am I going to use email mark marketing strategically, Mark, if I don't rank high in the search engines? Well, a couple of things. Traditionally, most people who get a website, if they don't pay for SEO and that's search engine optimization, in case you're not familiar with that term, if they don't pay for that, and obviously 99% of them are not going to know what to do with themselves, then if you don't rank typically in the first within the first two pages, you may as well not be on the search engines, ladies and gentlemen, because 99% of your potential uh, visitors will not go past the second page in either Yahoo, Google, or you know whatever major search engine that you're using. And basically, we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, 20 listings, because there are 10 basically what they call organic listings, 1 through 10 on each page. And then depending on what the terms are that those websites are competing to rank for, that will kind of determine how many paid or sponsors ads. Basically, what we're talking about there is pay-per-click ads that you will see per page. But forget the pay-per-click. We're not talking about using pay-per-click. We're talking about you being organically listed in the search engines and if for whatever reasons you don't place high then you're thinking well if I'm not getting a lot of traffic why would it make sense for me to be using email because obviously you know nobody's coming to your website and joining your list etc etc we're gonna show you a way around that a strategic way around that that does not have to be predicated on you competing with these geeks who know how to get these websites placed in these companies who have more resources than you so let's take a look at this and see what you think but first, let's look at some incredibly startling statistics. Ladies and gentlemen, according to a recent survey that was conducted by the NRA, that's National Restaurant Association, look at this. One in eight, or only 12.5%, this is pretty amazing, of all franchise restaurant chains, we're talking the United States here, by the way, in 2014 are mobile compatible. That means the other 88.5%, or 87.5% in that case, are not mobile compatible even though their customer base is pretty much demanding it but this is even more eye-opening entrepreneur only one in 20 or five percent of all mom and pop family-owned restaurant owners are mobile compatible which means the other 95 percent aren't and the NRA, NRA also recently revealed in another survey that only about half of all the mom and pop restaurants currently owned in the United States even have a traditional website, if you can believe that. So we're going to say that your business is more cutting edge. You've got a website or a blog of some kind. You probably spend a lot of money for it, unfortunately. And unless you spend a whole lot of money on SEO, these you know these SEO companies and services, let's say your website it doesn't rank too well. Let's say you're on page four, just for the sake of example, which means you're getting virtually no traffic. Well, if you're getting virtually no traffic, Mark, how's anybody going to come to your website and sign up and join your list and all that stuff? Well, if you're only relying on the search engines, I, I would quite agree with you. But let's take a look at this simple brain-dead marketing strategy that you could apply within the next 30 days or less. Let's see how this might work. Let's suppose you hook up with a couple of joint venture partners. One might be an upscale uh, furniture concern, and another might be a jeweler, because there's very a very good chance, ladies and gentlemen, your customer base is also a customer of these two businesses right here. So here's what you might do. And let's say, you know, both of these other businesses, the uh, furniture concern and the uh, jewelry concern, who might have multiple locations, that's the other thing, they're both members of the Chamber of Commerce just like you, so you're already on a first-name basis with these people. So here's what you might suggest. 
you'll send what's called a broadcast email to your opt-in subscribers meaning the restaurant owners customers their subscribers and you'll let your customer base know whenever either one of your joint venture partners either the furniture concern and or the jewelry jewelry concern pardon me is having a fire sale of some type especially a close to the general public type of sale one of those private deals now let me just explain something here I use this term broadcast email because this is what I really want you to get to ladies and gentlemen the really good paid autoresponder services like in my case I use Aweber and there's uh, get response and constant contact eye contact infusion soft there are a lot of really really good uh, paid autoresponder services so I'm not here to tell you which one to choose I'm only saying the really good ones offer what's called broadcast email now what is that typically when you think of an autoresponder ladies and gentlemen where you use it online they have pre-written messages that you simply load into the autoresponder and when people opt in depending on what they call the sequence is it 1, 5, 10, 50, whatever you start getting these pre-written messages every so often you know maybe every other day every day or maybe once a week and then every other day however you want to set it up that's up to you but you can also send what's called a broadcast email. This simply means you didn't pre-plan it. It's sort of on the fly, if you will. I mean, typically, it's not really on the fly. And what I mean by that is you already have in your mind at some point strategically you will be sending broadcast emails. But it means that it wasn't pre-written into your sequence. And I hope that's not too confusing. But the point I'm trying to get to is other than that welcome email, because technically you should have a welcome email, meaning when somebody opts in, you should have a message that says, hey, you know, thanks for joining my list. Uh, I want to let you know what's going to be coming down the pipe, this, that, and the other, something like that, you know, and uh, I'll send you a coupon in my next email, whatever, but you should have some sort of welcome email. So when people opt in, they get something. But here's my point, and this is what I'm trying to get to. What if every time your furniture furniture concern JV partner gets ready to do a sale rather than spending all this money on radio and local ads if he had five ten other companies like you that agreed to send a broadcast email or a mobile message if they're mobile friendly to their customer base inviting them to come to their sale they could give away much bigger deals because they're spending a lot less in upfront advertising and vice versa could not the furniture concern let's say they got 5,000 people on their email in uh, mobile marketing list couldn't they send a message to tell their customers hey to go in their case if they had 5,000 customers they might be able to pack your restaurant on your slow day and of course you can send uh, broadcast emails to your own opt-in list now let me just go back a minute and, and, and show you how we're gonna really build this email list for this restaurant let's say one of your JV partners is a local appliance dealer so you go to them, you say, hey, we need that 65-inch flat screen, one of them really popular ones. Say, okay, what are you going to do with it? We're going to stick it in the lobby, and we're going to put a big sign on that says, free drawing once a month, let's say through the summer. Or it doesn't really have to be the summer. When it starts getting warm, you know, people are eating out more and stuff. So let's say for four or five months, they're going to have this thing in their lobby, and every month they're going to give one away. But it's only available if you're a VIP uh, uh, email subscriber, which means just because you you come to the restaurant you don't get to enter and you have a website down there and that website will be a page say on your WordPress blog and it just sends them there and you know what will really be good ladies and gentlemen this is proven you should have a if you're gonna use video use a special video by the owner and welcome them hey this is Joe or Mary or Joe and Mary thank you for entering our free drawing this is only available to you as a special gift as our VIP email subscribers blah 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 we're gonna announce it once a month and you'll get an email we'll let you know who won now two things the uh, appliance store is gonna get access to this list too because the restaurant owner is gonna agree whenever they give a sale the appliance center gives a sale the restaurant owner is gonna send out a broadcast email about it the second thing is Ladies and gentlemen, you only have one grand prize winner every month. Well, what about the other 99% who entered? That's right. You're going to send them some kind of coupon to come in, and you're going to ethically bribe them by saying, hey, if you come in by yourself, you get this off. You come in with a couple, meaning two people, you get this. You bring in a, a group of X amount of more, you get this off. And you can do some really cool stuff, but the point is, what I'm really, really, really trying to get to here for you to see is, this broadcast email feature that the good paid autoresponder services have 
you don't have to have pre-written messages entrepreneur that's what I'm trying to get you to understand so think about this now here's the next step what if you agree that both parties say hey you can keep 100% of the profits that you generate but it's predicated on something in this case what the restaurant owner would say to that uh, furniture concern is hey you want to keep 100% of the profits or rather pay me 25% of what my customers spend with you what do you think they're gonna say oh, I'd rather keep 100% the restaurant owner says fine then find me three other businesses comparable to your size that are not competing with you that you know on a first name basis introduce me to them I will run my proposition by them you introduce me to at least three that I can talk to not that they have to agree just introduce me to them then I'll let you keep 100% of your profits so in other words you're leveraging the uh, furniture concerns his network or their network to get you more people so you spend less money advertising which means you can give away bigger surprise bonuses like a free bottle of your top champagne uh, a uh, free dinner, a cruise, whatever, anything to get word of mouth, ladies and gentlemen. That's the power of this, and that's what I want you to see. It has nothing to do with being placed high in the search engines, and I hope you can see that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can see in this video how strategic email marketing and or mobile marketing flat out makes sense. But if you have a website that's not listed high in the search engines, just start doing some serious strategic alliances. So ladies and gentlemen, on that note, for those of you who want to discover how you're going to add an additional 25% more gross profit to your bottom line, do so in the next 90 days or less without having to add any new customers or clients, then entrepreneur, you definitely want to grab that free nine-page special report. Just head over to youcanmarketonlinenow.com forward slash sales because that's where you can get it. Now ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who enjoyed the particular video, pardon me, and you want to know, hey, what is the next step? then you're highly encouraged to grab your free 22 parts small business marketing mastery series this is an additional 22 free educational emails on top of the free nine page special report this is my free gift to you just for joining the inner circle it's a ninety seven dollar value and of course entrepreneur you are free to unsubscribe anytime you wish this is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. We'll see you again next time on the Marketing Minute.